G.E. Moore is one of the most influential philosophers of the 20th century and with this book, he has to be the most influential philosopher of language that has ever lived. In this book, he gives us his best argument for common sense superiority, which is a fairly simple argument made from a number of different angles. Summary of the book In a defense of common sense, G. E. Moore sets out to defend the notion of common sense against what he saw as the growing skepticism of his day. He begins by defining common sense as a body of beliefs that we all share about the world and our place in it. These beliefs, he argues, are not based on reason or evidence, but on our experience of the world. Moore then goes on to address some of the main arguments against common sense, such as the claim that our beliefs are only a product of our culture or that they are based on false premises. He shows how these arguments fail to take into account the role that experience plays in shaping our beliefs. In the end, Moore concludes that common sense is justified because it is based on our shared experience of the world. Who should read this book? If you are looking for a book that will change the way you think about philosophy, then this is not the book for you. However, if you are interested in understanding how one of the most important philosophers of the 20th century thought about some of the perennial problems in philosophy, then you should definitely read this book. Outcomes of a Defense of Common Sense by G. E. Moore In a defense of common sense, G. E. Moore sets out to defend the belief that there is an external world, which we perceive through our senses. He argues that this belief is justified, even though we cannot know for certain that it is true. Moore begins by considering some of the objections that have been raised against the belief in an external world. He then goes on to argue that, even if these objections were successful, they would not show that the belief is not justified. Finally, he considers some of the arguments that have been given in support of the belief and concludes that they are strong enough to justify holding it. In the course of his argument, Moore makes a number of important points about the nature of knowledge and justification. He argues, for example, that we cannot know anything for certain, but that this does not mean that we cannot justify it in believing what we do. He also argues that our beliefs can be justified even if they are not based on any evidence. Overall, A Defense of Common Sense is a well-argued and thought-provoking book. It is likely to appeal to anyone who is interested in the problem of skepticism, or in the nature of knowledge and justification more generally. In conclusion, G. E. Moore's work is still relevant today because it provides a strong defense of common sense against skepticism. His argument that we can know things about the world without having to rely on complicated theories is something that many people still find persuasive. If you're looking for a book that will help you better understand the world around you, then A Defense of Common Sense is definitely worth a read. Please do like and subscribe for more.